Inserts introduce complexity into injection molded part design, which can make warpage prediction difficult. Let's take a look at how Moldex 3D simulations can help us predict displacement and thermally induced residual stress for insert molding applications. Inserts are often included in injection molded plastic part design to reinforce the part and reduce assembly time. The insert improves the part's strength, reduces labor costs associated with assembly, and allows the part designer to utilize heavier or more expensive materials only where they're absolutely essential. Since other materials may be stiffer than the plastic we're molding, and they may expand and contract differently as they respond to heat, the introduction of a new material into a plastic part can have some unexpected consequences. That's where Moldex 3D comes in. Moldex 3D can help you anticipate the warpage trends for insert molding applications. Allow me to demonstrate. A simple plaque will be used for this example. The mesh for the part should have five layers of boundary layer mesh, and the insert should be pure tetrahedral mesh. In Moldex 3D, every object, including line-defined objects, will receive a solid mesh. That allows us to show high-resolution results through the thickness of the runner, cooling system, and mold base. Next, materials are assigned for the part and the part insert. We can use one of the thousands of materials from our material database shown in our material wizard, or for more accurate results, you can send us your material for characterization in our lab in Taiwan. You'll receive a material card that can be imported here. Now, let's take a look at some warpage results. We'll navigate to our project tree, scroll down to warpage, and then click on total displacement. The model only shrinks a tiny amount, so we'll use the deformation feature with a scale factor of 10 to get an idea of how the part shape will change. Notice how the part shrinks more on the side that's not in contact with the insert. That's because the plastic shrinks significantly more than aluminum when it cools. We can also use the compare results feature to compare this to the same part with no insert. Notice how the shrinkage is much more dramatic when the part's movement is not restricted by the aluminum on the top side. The warpage trend for this part is also different. The shrinkage we see on the top and bottom of the part is much more uniform when the aluminum is absent. A similar trend can be seen in the thermally induced residual stress. By rotating the part around, we can see that the area with the highest internal stress is in the insert. We'd like to focus on the plastic though, so let's hide that insert. Now, the same trend that we saw in the overall displacement results can be seen here. The von Mises stress is highest in the area contacting the insert. When the plastic is trying to shrink and the aluminum is preventing that movement, the result is internal stress. Once the part warps, the remaining stress is what you see here. The addition of the insert has dramatically increased the von Mises stress that we see in the part. This will have an effect on the part's performance in its final application. So to summarize, inserts and injection molded parts can be made from a range of different materials, including metals, ceramics, and even other plastics. The rigidity, coefficient of linear thermal expansion, and thermal conductivity will vary widely across these materials, which will make it difficult to anticipate warpage trends. With Moldex 3D, we can simulate the complex interactions between the plastic and the insert as the part fills, packs, cools, and warps. This will help us make important design decisions that optimize the quality of our parts. If you enjoyed this content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us over on LinkedIn. I'll see you there.